What's up everybody, this is Wallace from A3 Academy and today's topic is going to be simple harmonic motion and uh, in this video we're mostly going to be talking about force and energy. So let's get started. So to understand simple harmonic motion really quick, just watch this video. When someone uh, stretches the object on the spring, the object will bounce back up and then it will vibrate back and forth and this vibration, this um, movement back and forth is known as simple harmonic oscillation. So suppose that you had an object on a spring hanging from, say, the ceiling. This object is going to be staying in a single place, and this place is known as the equilibrium position. And it's called that because all of the forces are in equilibrium and the object is staying still. Now, if we were to stretch this object past its equilibrium position to a new position and then release the object, the object would spring back to its equilibrium position and then overshoot the equilibrium position to a new position and then it would go back down and then it would go back up and it would oscillate like that which is known as simple harmonic oscillation now the maximum distance that the object will ever travel from the equilibrium position is known as the amplitude now some other terms that you might want to know the period is the time it takes for the object to move up and down in one rotation and the frequency is the amount of times it will go up and down in one second. Now, the period is just equal to 1 over the frequency, and the frequency is equal to 1 over the period. Now, if the object is above the equilibrium position, there will always be a force that's trying to bring it back down to the equilibrium position. At the same time, if the object is below the equilibrium position, a force will always be trying to push it back up. This force that's always trying to move an object back to equilibrium is known as a restoring force. And the restoring force is proportional to the distance the object is from the equilibrium position. In fact, you can explain it with a simple formula. F equals negative kx. Where x is the distance the object is from the equilibrium position, and k is equal to the spring stiffness constant, which is different for every spring. Now let's talk about energy. We know that the potential energy of a spring, PE, is equal to 1 half kx squared, where k, once again, is the spring stiffness constant, and x is the distance from the equilibrium position. We also know that the kinetic energy of an object in motion is always going to be equal to 1 half mv squared, where m is the mass of the object and v is the velocity. Therefore, the entire energy of the object is just the potential energy plus the kinetic energy, 1 half kx squared plus 1 half mv squared. And that is equal to E, the entire energy of the system. Now it can easily be shown that E, the entire energy of the system, is equal to 1 half ka squared, where a is the amplitude of the simple harmonic oscillation. Therefore, the entire equation will be 1 half ka squared is equal to 1 half mv squared plus 1 half kx squared. Now this formula is very useful for relating energy mass and velocity and we will use it in an example problem so suppose that we had an object uh, a five kilogram mass on a sideways spring with a spring stiffness constant of five newtons per meter and we stretch it out one meter and then release the object how fast will it pass the equilibrium position so first let's break down this problem really quick so we have an object on a table uh, and it's connected to an object with a spring now, just so you know, any object on a sideways spring will be using the same equations as one on a vertical spring, so we can use the same equations in both cases. Now, we are stretching out this object one meter and then releasing the object. When you release the object, the object will snap back and move past the equilibrium position at a certain speed. And we have to figure out how fast that speed is. So, all we have to do is break out the equation 1 half ka squared equals 1 half mv squared plus 1 half kx squared. So now we have to figure out what we know in this equation. So the amplitude is 1 meter because we stretched the object out 1 meter and then released it. And now the object will be oscillating between 1 meter away from the equilibrium position. Now we also know the spring stiffness constant is 5 newtons per meter. And we know that the mass of the object is 5 kilograms. We also know x. x is the distance from the equilibrium position. Now, since we're trying to find how fast the object is going at the equilibrium position, we can say that x is equal to just 0. So now that we know all of our variables, 
All we have to do is plug them in and solve for velocity, which is what we want, and we will get that velocity is equal to 1 meter per second. Now, just some helpful information. When an object is at equilibrium position, it is going the fastest that it will ever travel, which means that at the equilibrium position, if it's traveling at 1 meters per second, then the maximum velocity of the object in simple harmonic oscillation is also going to be 1 meter per second. So that's some useful information. So that's all you really need to know about the basics when it comes to uh, forces and energies in a system that is undergoing simple harmonic oscillation. So that's all for today, and as always, the more you know, the better you are. Grab a mic, kill the stage, yeah, second nature now Mama said I make a prayer, I told her I made a prayer